Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Rukar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great most so much respect to you brothers out there. This precinct's word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle David, hope for a lecking speckled bird and one say shalom. So I'm just getting right into it. So, hey, passing out flyers. I'm just getting right into it, man. Passing out flyers. Is not doing the work of the Lord as it's half stepping. You see, you go to work and you have to do the whole job. And thus they pay you for doing the whole job. All right. Same with this truth. You can't lollygag. You can't try to come to the Lord any any other type of way, man. You got to go outside on the highways and byways. The Lord gave you this unction or gave you the spirit. Gave you the understanding of these scriptures. You are supposed to go outside to the highways and byways and preach this word. Right? Passing out flyers is not doing the work of the Lord. And as you'll see in this video, which I'm going to play a little bit of it. You know, a uh, uh, dude got an altercation. Why? Because those people are not in the right mindset to receive this truth. Okay? Just like it's not, you know, even dudes that understand that they have to go out there to the highways and byways. They they be out there in the marches and the protesting. And and shots be firing off, man. That's, that's not the right place to be at, man. Okay? Your job is to just stay on, stay at your uh stay at your fort, you know. Stay at where you where you've been preaching at. Or if the protesters come through, you know, you just move to another spot. Because those people are not in the right mind frame to receive this truth. OK, the Lord has has only a remnant that he wants to get this truth. And those people, they most of them, like I said, are just out of it, man. And this dude getting in. I already met this dude before he's down here in Louisville. And, um, you know, I've, I've, I've already dealt with them, man. I already told him, you know, because these people, this this dude in particular been in the truth longer than me. OK, he, he let let that sink in. He has been in the truth longer than me and he's still not out there on the highways and byways preaching his word, you know. And so the Lord stored up them spirits to get out of that day. All right. Because he, he is not doing the work of the Lord. He's not reverence the name of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, and he's just taking shortcuts. You know, you can't take shortcuts in, the, in, in, in this word, man, you know. The Lord gave you gave you this this knowledge and you're supposed to go out there to the highways and byways preach. So I'm gonna play this video. All right. Bro man, out, out with the out the brothers, man. We just like I said, out passing out some flyers, man. Our people are freaking demons. Like they like you see that out there passing out flyers. Right. So we out, we we out trying to bring the word, you know, to get our people the truth, trying to really show them why we we doing the march. That's not doing the work, man. You supposed to go out there to the highways and byways, like I said earlier, man. They're not in the right mind frame to receive this truth. Breonna Taylor, why we going through? What we going through? How we being oppressed? How we being treated like garbage? So while we there. We got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of niggas with guns run up on me talking about get away. Uh, a group of about four niggas and then three of them got dang what you say AR-22s? Yeah, they got yeah, AR-15s. AR-15s. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, so dudes with you know basically two, take two hands with a gun. It, it's all up on me. Then you got another dude run up. I'm like, yeah, you need to leave, leave, and it's, they start putting their hands, grabbing on me. So I'm kind of like. Now, you know, of course, a little bit of me like, oh, now get off me, I ain't going, you know, and then one of them runs up and then shoves me with all, all he got, something that comes shoves me, I, so I fly back, shove, I fly back, get knocked into Esau, fly to this Edomite woman, and now, now that I bump into her, well, when I got pushed into her, she falls down, hits her head, like, she fell that hard, I mean, fell that hard, and then a whole bunch of niggas come up talking about, you pushed her down, like, uh, like, like Stockholm Syndrome ass niggas talking about, yeah, you push that white woman down. See, you coming in here with that hate, and y'all hate women, and da 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 da. So now you're gonna say, <laughs> we don't hate our women, man. We love order and righteousness. All right, 
But this brother, man, he he's going off. Once again, he's not reverencing the name of Yahweh Bashmi outside. He's not out there on the highways and byways preaching his word. And he's been in the truth longer than me. And so the Lord, you know, I've already warned him in the past. Okay, told him that you have to go out there to the highways and byways and preach his word. All right, so the Lord pretty much stirred up those spirits to pretty much come after that brother. You know, at least, you know, shoot, I can't even call him brother. You know, it's, it's a dude right now. <laughs> but anyways, you know, at least they repent. Okay. So pretty much the Lord stirred up those spirits. You know why? Because you're trying to, you're trying to get to the kingdom of heaven and, and, and going through another route. You know, taking shortcuts. Ain't no shortcuts in this truth, man. Push the woman down after one of them niggas that's coming up against his own people that's actually here for his people. Jake, Jake is just bugged out here, man. <laughs> All right, they they love they slave masters. But anyways, I'm gonna get a couple scriptures. This is John 10. I'm gonna start at the top. Verily, verily, I sing unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the shepherd sheep, sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. And so this dude is trying to enter into the kingdom of heaven in a in another way. You know, he's taking shortcuts. All right. And what you what are you? You're a thief and a robber. Rather you realize it or not. You know, you may be sincere, but you're sincerely wrong. OK, the Lord made it clear that you're supposed to go out there to the highways and byways and preach this word. OK. Verse two, but he that entereth and, and also also slock you also. All right. This ain't Jehovah wickedness. This ain't <laughs> this ain't the Christian church. You know, that's that's what some of these Hebrew Hebrew Israelite camps are, man. They just they just call themselves Hebrew Israelites, but they're practically a, a Baptist church, man. You know? <laughs> you might as well go back to the church. If you're gonna be doing all that, plat passing out flyers, you know. <laughs> Verse two, but he that entereth in by the door is a, is the shepherd of the sheep. To him, the porter of open, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And when he pour forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, they know his voice. Okay, we follow after Yahweh Hashem Shah. We call on his name. All right, he tells us where to go. All right, he has uh, our, our shepherds, our apostles and elders and the brothers on down. All right, that's that's leading us to the right direction. All right, that's not going to lead us astray. Verse five: A stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. You see that, and this dude's a stranger. All right. Once again, he's not reverencing the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Okay, he's still calling on the name of <laughs> Jesus. You know, we we not even supposed to say that. You know, I've already, I've already talked to these dudes in the past and, you know, they just stiff neck, they hard headed and they want to <laughs> climb up some other way. And that's not the way. Okay. And so, Hey, I'm, I'm, a, uh, Hey, I'm going to enter into that straight gate. You know, Lord willing, the Lord puts, keeps that spirit upon me throughout, uh, uh, however long we, we in this kingdom, you know, Puts that spirit upon me to enter into that straight gate. And that's what we're doing. Entering into that straight gate. And not everybody out there is, <laughs> you know, just in the right mindset, I should say, to go out there to the highways and byways, man. You know, it's, hey, you deal with demons. I mean, you deal with the cold, uh, this rain, sleet, and snow. But, hey, that's that's part of being a warrior. That's part of being a soldier. You know, for our, our Lord... Yahweh Shai can die for us. It's, it's nothing for me to go out there to the highways and byways, whether it's cold, whether it's hot, you know, to do this work. But these people, you know, they want to take shortcuts. Okay, I'm I'm out there to the highways and byways. I'm passing out flyers, wasting money, passing out flyers, man. That's not doing the work. That's not doing the work, man. Okay. Let's see what else I want to get. Uh, this is also let's get uh let's get this in uh, Joe. Love this right here. Job 12 and 16. Let's get this. 
It's Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and, and wisdom. And the deceive and the deceiver are his. All right. The deceived and the deceiver are his. And this man is being deceived by Yahweh Shemel Shai. He, he can't see it. All right. Like I said, this dude has been in the truth longer than me. And he's still not out there to the highways and byways preaching his word. That's a crying shame. All right. Because when you're out there to the highways and byways, people are able to uh, uh, know where, where, where you're at preaching. You know, able to come up to you for actual wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. When you're going out to these protests, you know, these Brown and Taylor protests and, and whatever, you know, these people don't uh, uh, know where, where your camp's at, where you stay, you know, where you preach at. To come and, and listen to you, get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, get nourishment. All right? You, you are set up to give nourishment to the sheep. And they're not doing it. Okay? <laughs> they're, they're not doing it. And so you get in altercations <laughs> that, that could have been uh, totally avoided, man. Let's get this. This is uh, classy, man. Luke 14 and 23. Let's get this. Luke 14 and 23. And the Lord, how about me outside, said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Now, this ain't talking about going door to door or to these protests, passing out flyers, man. This is talking about going out there to the highways and byways, setting up your camp, having your 12 tribes chart out, right, which is biblical. Read that in Ezekiel 37, which I may get. Okay, this that's what you're supposed to do. All right. Let's go to uh, 2 Timothy Four and two. All right. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's your job. When you're out there on the highways and byways, Jake walk by, you know, you say, hey, what's up, man? You know, or you just let them pass by, you know, <laughs> you, you supposed to you supposed to be preaching that word, you know, because these Jake's out here have no excuse that they have never heard this word, you know. A lot of them, you know, you try to get their attention or, hey, a lot of them just pat walk by. That's okay, man, because it's truth is going to draw in, fish in, you know, uh, who who is meant to get this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you know, and, 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 and you bid in the good and the bad, you know, and the bad is going to fall off anyways. You know, some of the bad is going to come up to the camp, stop, start speaking some madness and you just shoot them away, you know. But Jake don't want to do that, man. You're called to do that. Or right? you're called to be a reprover. You're called to let your uh, let your people know who they are out there on the highways and byways. Okay, not <laughs> in passing out flights. Matter of fact, this is verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after they own lust, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. You see that? That's what these dudes is, is doing, man. Having, you know, just just falling after their own lust, man. You know, oh, I, 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 I'm doing the work. You halfway doing the work, man. Dude may be doing videos, but he's halfway doing the work. Okay, like I said, he's been in truth longer than me. You supposed to be out here. Shoot, you supposed to be, <laughs> you supposed to be elder. And, uh, I wouldn't say elder, but you supposed to be, you supposed to be uh, somebody to look up to in this truth, I should say. Okay, but hey, he's not. Verse five, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of evangelists, make full proof of thy ministry. And are they making full proof of Yahweh Shemuel Shah's ministry? No. All right. Why? Because the deceiver and the deceiver is his. The Lord has his man deceived. And whoever's walking with him, at least they repent, are deceived. Those are the bunch of people that, that the Lord does not want to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Matter of fact, this is biblical. I said it earlier. Your 12 tribes chart. Matter of fact, I'm going to get uh, verse 9 first. It's Ezekiel 37 and verse 9. All right, then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, 
and say to the wind, Thus saith Yahweh power, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. All right, you, hey, even if you're out there by yourself or, or with the brothers, ain't nobody out there, hey, you still prophesying. All right, why? Because prophesying, like I love to say, is a form of spiritual power, man. Okay, it's a form of spiritual power, and it's going to draw in who is meant to be drawn in, as you'll see in verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and a breath came into them. And they lived, and they stood upon their feet, an, ex uh, an exceedingly great army. That's what happened, man. All right, the elect hearing this word, or right, by the unicorn, this internet, and they get drawn in. They see the apostles and elders. Hey, I haven't met the apostles and elders personally, but hey, I listen to, I listen to the, the epistles, man, by the unicorn, and it builds you up. And you realize, hey, I got to get in this book. I got to start reading. All right, I got to fear the Lord. I got to start praying, fasting. I got to do this work. Okay. This is verse. Um, I'm getting verse 15. Then the word of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel came, came, came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah. And for the children of Israel and his companions, and then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, for all the house of Israel and his companions. So what is this stick? This stick is talking about the tri 12 tribes chart. Okay, that's that stick. And that's why we out there in highways and byways with our 12 tribes chart. Now, I remember having a conversation with this uh, dude before. And, you know, he, he didn't believe in the 12 tribes chart. Maybe he does now, but at that time he didn't. All right. But like I said, he ain't out there on the highways and byways doing this work. You know, so maybe he does it. All right. Um, shoot. Matter of fact, let's, let's get this, man. This is um, Ecclesiasticus of Syrac 39 in uh, verse 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they a stumbling block unto, unto the wicked. All right, his ways are plain unto the holy. We understand that we have to go out there to the highways and byways, bid them to the marriage, whether they hear or whether they forbear. All right, and passing out flyers is not doing the work. You know, that's, that's half step. Like I said earlier, man, you go to work, you do the whole job. You know, you, hey, you may have a factory job. Where you may have to put parts together, put put this and that together. All right, if you miss those parts and you keep on missing them constantly and constantly, and you're going to get rolled up and you're going to be put aside. All right, and, and that's what this dude is going to end up happening. At least you repent. You know, the Lord just gave him a little taste of what's going to happen. At least you repent. You know, hey, the Lord's going to jack you up, man. As you see in uh, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance and their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of the destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right. Hey, you may be a vessel that's, that's created to get jacked up. All right. Because you rejected the Lord's name. You're now out there on the highways and byways preaching his word. And you've been in the truth longer than me. You know, so you definitely have no excuse. All right. That's pretty much it, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praises going on to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Rakakadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom.